to cut the sword for the commencement of work on phase two of the Tamale International Airport project. Four years on, the project has been completed and ready for commission. This project is part of the government's vision to expand the frontiers of the aviation industry and to make Ghana the aviation hub within the West African sub-region. It is therefore gratifying to note that the development of the Tamale Airport Phase 2 is in line with government's aviation sector infrastructure development program. This project is so dear to the government and particularly the hardworking people of the northern region and its trading partners across the length and breadth of the country and the sub-region. The completion of this ultra-modern terminal building together with a multi-purpose terminal and other ancillary facilities are expected to provide the needed impetus for increased economic trading activities and reinforce the status of Tamale as a sub-Saharan hub airport for flights to and from neighboring West African countries and the Sahel region. The Tamale International Airport will serve as an alternative to the Kotoka International Airport. The northern region, as you may well know, is noted for its vibrancy in agricultural and economic activities. Above all, it is endowed with rich tradition and culture. The location of the airport within the Sahelian belt, also referred to as the food basket of Ghana, is expected to enhance access to market for local agriculture produce, enhance tourism, and attract passengers from neighboring countries. Indeed, the government intends to use Tamale International Airport to support programs of the Northern Development Authority of Ghana to harness fresh agricultural produce for export to other parts of the world and to generate employment and create wealth in this geographical zone. The boost in agriculture would be leveraged to support the development of agro-based industries in, North, in northern Ghana. And this is in line with the widely acknowledged and well-founded government's one district, one factory policy. The expansion of the Tamale International airport is expected to serve as a catalyst for industrialization and rapid socioeconomic development. Significantly, it is expected that the Tamale International Airport will make Tamale the Hajj hub in Ghana and facilitate seamless travel directly to Saudi Arabia for the seasonal pilgrimage to Mecca. It is gratifying to note that the multi-purpose terminal, which was completed in 2022, has been used in facilitating Hajj programs in 2022 and 2023. It is my hope that other service providers will leverage the completion of this project to invest in other areas such as the establishment of maintenance, repair and overhaul facility, development of cargo facilities and coal stores for export of fresh produce and establishment of aviation training organization, ATO, amongst others. Nanima, distinguished invited guests, Ladies and gentlemen, as we have said, this is phase two of the 
Ghana at the Tamale International Airport project. Phase one of the project took place between 2014 and 2016. And during this phase, we had a runway of an expand extension of the runway by one kilometer, a thousand meters, airport lighting, and some partial funding. These three elements of the phase one project cost a total of $130 million just for the extension of the runway by one kilometer, the lights and the partial fending, fencing of the airport. By contrast, phase two of this project which we are commissioning today is consisting of a construction of an ultra-modern terminal building with 400,000 annual passenger capacity for both domestic and international operations, which is equipped with a state-of-the-art airport systems. The terminal comes with a 330 capacity car park. Also, part of this project is a five kilometer asphalt access road of the Tamale Bolga Road to the new terminal building. In addition, we have a multi purpose terminal building with the state of the art equipment used for Hajj operations at the moment. And in addition, we have a bulk utility supply area, which is a technical area where all services such as electricity, water, wastewater treatment for the airport is managed from. All these four separate projects cost a total of $70 million. This compares to the $130 million of fees one for those three elements of that project. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to, at this stage, congratulate the consultants and the contractors for a very good job done with their relatively limited resources. <laughs> Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, as part of government's resolve to increase domestic aviation activities, some projects were initiated. While some projects are in ongoing, others have been completed. These include the Kumasi International Airport Phase 2 and 3 project, which is 95% complete. The rehabilitation of the Sunyani Airport, however, has been completed and was commissioned in August 2022. The focus of government is to strategically position Ghana's aviation industry to give it the needed recognition amongst its competitors in the sub-region and beyond. We are indeed certain to achieve this goal with all hands on deck. May the Almighty God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. The location of the airport will derive numerous benefits for the northern sector. It will help to open up tourism in the region and promote free. The completion will help in connecting the region to the rest of the country. I want to thank the consultants and contractors who built this new edifice for the Ghanaian people. Once this commission is over, 
the people of the law and the entire Italian people look forward with interest to the first non art bound international flight to any part of the world. Italian people are also looking forward to the first international cargo flight to export fresh foods, vegetables, and other agricultural products to Europe and other parts of the world. These cargo services will pay jobs to the people and bring relief to farmers since they are farm produce to be exported on a timely basis. To promote the export of French vegetables and other food products, I wish to appeal to government to embark on the development of irrigation dams in the region. The people of Ghana are also hopeful that the maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility within the hangar will serve as a regional aircraft maintenance hub to attract airline operators within West Africa to do the effort for maintenance and servicing activities. Your Excellency, we want to assure the managers of the airport that they can always call on Nanuma to assist them in the maintenance of this facility since the lack of this will make this investment non productive and will derail the prospects of the managers from attracting other investors, particularly those in the private sector.